Hey y'all. So I know this is different, um, but just bear with me. Um, I'm really glad to be able to send something to y'all and to um, communicate with y'all in some way. Um, so I hope y'all have been doing well. I hope y'all are staying healthy and safe. Um, I know this is a lot of change for everyone. Um, so today I'm going to give y'all something a little bit normal of doing a, a lesson for y'all. Um, but we're not going to be able to do our normal hot chocolate donuts thing or go to the gym. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about the Bible and how it can still translate into our day-to-day -day lives, even though they're at home um, with the whole family. And so, yeah, let's dive into it. So we're going to continue talking about the armor of God. Um, so we talked about that last time I saw y'all. Some of us in our second hour class, we talked about the armor of God and um, about the belt of truth. And so what that meant, why it was part of the armor of God, um, and mainly about honesty and why it's so important to our faith. Today we're going to talk about the shield of faith um, and what that means, what it is. How can we use that today in our 2020 lives? So I am going to give y'all some verses and where we're going to start reading in our Bible. Um, after I give um, where we're going, you can pause it really quick. You can grab your Bible if you don't have it. You can grab a um, piece of paper and a pen or pencil if you want to write some stuff down while I talk to y'all. Um, or like a snack or a drink or something. Make yourself comfortable. So that's what we would do on a regular Sunday. Um, so we're going to go to the book of Ephesians, which is in the New Testament, and we're going to go to chapter six. So that's the big number six. And we're going to go to verse 10, which is the little 10. Um, so pause it here. I'm going to start reading it. Um, so I'm reading from NIV. Some of y'all might have that translation. Um, uh, mine says, starting in verse 10, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh or people, but against the rulers, against the authorities, and against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground after you have done everything. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. So, I'm going to stop there. Um, we'll read the full 10 through 18 next time I send a video to y'all. So, um, so that for me was through verse 16. So, uh, if you want to highlight that, go ahead. Um, if not, you can just write down anything that um, kind of caught your eye or was kind of cool um, or that you didn't understand. So, I'm going to talk about the shield of faith and what that means. So, let's start talking about a shield and talk about faith. So, what is faith exactly? We haven't really deeply dove into what faith is because it's a little bit more than just um believing in god faith is a big chunk of that is believing in god um but there's actually a verse in your bible if you want to write this down um you can flip to it or if you want to highlight it as well it is in hebrews um hebrews is also in the new testament so keep going a little bit it's also kind of hard to find um so you can go to your table of contents we've done that um, and it's chapter 11 and it's verse one. So right after the big 11, start reading and that's the verse. Um, and it should say something like faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of we, of what we do not see. So that's a little bit deeper. It is corely believing in God, um, because we can't physically see God, right? Um, but we believe that he is real. We believe that he's always with us, um, and we hope that one day we get to be with him. Um, so faith is being certain of that hope and it's being sure of what we can't see. So we can't see God, but we are sure that he is real and that he is all powerful and that he created us and that he loves us um, and all the good things. So um, let's talk about our shield of faith and what that means. 
So, um, I actually wanted to give y'all, I found this little thing on our lesson that talked about shields from back in Jesus's time. So, um, back when the Romans were ruling and all that stuff, Roman soldiers would carry huge shields because they had to protect themselves in battle or, um, from people that probably tried to attack them. So, um, their shields were about four feet, four feet by two and a half feet. So, four feet is a pretty good... It's pretty big. Um, I know that would definitely shield me, um, and it would definitely shield you. So um, let's just think about what that would look like to have a really big shield like that protecting us with faith. So um, I know that for me, my shield of faith has grown tremendously since I was in fifth grade, um, and it will do the same for you. So what does it look like to have a shield of faith? So a shield protects us. And so our faith would protect us, um, obviously from different things. Shields would definitely protect you from an arrow, but in verse 16, it talks about the devil's fiery arrows. And so that could look like um, a friend that wants to cheat on a test or, a f or someone that wants to gossip about another person and they're not there or just isn't really nice, you know, and that can look like a devil's fiery arrow trying to attack your shield of faith. Um, you know, you can't see it, but it's a situation that you could be in where you have to make a decision of doing the right thing, of standing up. And that takes a lot of faith and that takes a lot of courage. Um, and so the Bible is telling us that's going to happen and we need to have a big shield of faith to use and to be ready and um, so, also, when the Roman soldiers would, um, they would do, they would all have their shields, and they would all line up in a row with their shields out, which would barricade anything, anything. So, what does that look like for us and our shield of faith? So, what does it look like for all of our preteens, our whole group, to have our shields of faith and line up and have them, and nothing can get by? Um, what does it look like to have, um, maybe just a couple of friends, all of, all of y'all have your shield of faith and you can stand up to someone that's not being cool at all. Um, cause that's going to happen, you know, and I found myself as I got older wanting to be with people that also had the same kind of shield of faith that I do. And it's grown and it's, um, you know, one that you wouldn't put down for, a certain situation like if one of my friends were talking about another person I wouldn't put my shield down just because I want to seem cool or I want to you know not be made fun of for doing the right thing because that happens a lot of the time um, but I want to be friends with people that would also keep their shields up for me and what's going to happen is y'all are going to want to be with people that have the same kind of shield as you, um, which I feel like a lot of us in our preteen group have the same sort of shield, um, which is really cool. So what does that look like in your life right now to have a shield of faith? Um, right now, it may look a little different. Um, you know, when something that I could think of if I was with my mom, um, you know, during this time of being at home and she's probably helping me learn some school. She's probably asking me to do more around the house, um, stuff like that. I didn't, I do not have siblings. So I know some of y'all are also having, um, more people in your house than I would. Um, and sometimes siblings can get on our nerves, but we love them. And, um, you know, what does it look like for maybe a fiery arrow that the devil might try to hit us up with is wanting to kind of smart mouth our parents if they ask us to do um, the dishes or to um, make our room, like make our bed and clean up our room. Um, and we don't want to. But what does it look like to say, you know what? Okay, because parents are under stress. They're under a lot of stress right now. And I know y'all are too, because everything is changing. But what does it look like to have our shield of faith up and say, you know what, this isn't going to knock me down and we're still going to do what Jesus would do, which would say, okay, I'll clean my room, you know, and 
you just do that. And what it, what does it look like to be able to just go and talk to your friends? I know y'all probably can talk to some of y'all y'all's friends on the phone or FaceTime or all that jazz. Um, and just catch up and you know if they're having a hard time making sure that they're okay um what does it look like to pray for our friends and our family um you know people that we know are having a rough time with this or for the elderly who definitely can't go out right now um people that have the disease you know what does it look like to have the shield of faith right now in this time so um i also want to talk about in verse 15 it talks about having are feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So gospel of peace is something that a lot of us need right now. Um, and our feet being fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So being ready to take that on and spread the word. Uh, I know in another translation, this verse looked like sharing the gospel of peace. So gospel of peace, we probably haven't heard the Bible be said in that those terms of gospel of peace but it's kind of like saying the word of god or the good news um sharing the gospel so sharing jesus and um his story and you know all that kind of stuff and um how does it look to show that um kind of like we were talking about to have maybe a little bit more patience having you know a little more kindness um, and that's one way that right now we can really show a gospel of peace. So, um, that's really what I wanted to share with y'all. Mainly the having your shield of faith and what it looks like not only to have your shield of faith, but what it looks like if three, four, all of our preteens have our shields of faith. And we're sharing those and we're using them. And what does that look like? It's really cool stuff. Um, and then how can we share a gospel of peace right now, which is really important. Um, so if y'all want to write some ways down, if something like this struck a chord or seemed really important to y'all, um, feel free to write these down, highlight the verses. Um, and if you can comment, if you're allowed to comment, um, if you want to share something that was cool in this or something that you would want me to send a video on to talk about, um, feel free to write that. Or if you just want to say hi, I'll definitely say hi back. Or if like y'all say hi or you see another one of our friends say hi, you can um, talk to them that way. So I thought I really hope that um, this gave y'all a little bit of sense of, oh yes, getting to have a lesson on Sunday morning is a little bit more normal. Um, not completely, but it won't be. So um, I hope you'll get to live stream some of our services of Thrive or um, traditional service or like Zimbabwe service or Heart of Africa, stuff like that. Um, it would be a great time to be able to watch all of those and get to see maybe something that you have never seen before or haven't been included in um, just because y'all have a different schedule. You know, now you can watch them at home, um, which would be really cool to watch something different and new. So um I hope y'all have a great week, and I hope that y'all um, get to share a little bit of peace at home um, and with friends and family, So, and you have a week of health, like good health, and you stay safe, and you practice washing your hands. Um, I will be praying for y'all, and if you have a prayer request, you can definitely um, share it. Um, you don't have to, of course. But um, mainly right now, I want to pray for all of y'all and for everyone that um, this is affecting, which is probably everyone. So um, yeah, have a great week. I will send another video to y'all um, next week. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.